Hello. So it's the Christmas holiday and um, my daughter has influenza, something like that. So I guess I'm going to be getting that over my holiday. <laughs> you have to laugh, right? And in my room, it's really cold. My toes are freezing. My fingertips are freezing. It's not very pleasant. But outside the sun is shining and soon I will be going for a walk. But in this video, I briefly want to talk about one of my latest projects, which was a drone view of a countryside road. And um, I'm really happy with the particular view I did. And um, I think most of the paintings turned out really well. So I'll just show you each one and briefly talk about it. So here we go. So this is one of the paintings that I did and I think this one is my favourite. So I really like the angle of this particular painting. And if you look here and here, you can see the perspective and I, I really like that. I'm so happy about that. There's just many things about this painting that I like. Um, for example, the texture here, I think is very nice. This golden colour and also the white markings on the road, I really like. And like I said before, these vertical shapes and the perspective, I think it works well. I like the shadows. I think these long dramatic shadows work very well. And also the figures. I think these figures in particular look very good because there's a touch of perspective there. It really looks like we're looking down upon them. I'm not sure I got the perspective right with these other figures, but but overall, I'm very happy with this painting. The houses are, I didn't do the rooftops as well as I should have done. The edges need to be a little bit crisper, but I'm still very happy with it. And and I think one of the interesting things about this painting is this raised road. So this is a road that goes over rice fields or through rice fields and it's raised up. And it, it, it's quite an interesting feature. And uh, I think that that what is it like raised road surface that creates this kind of interesting shapes, very interesting shapes, help make this a really good painting, as well as the viewpoint. So this is the next painting. I, I actually don't know what the order is. Um, one of the most difficult things for me has been trying to transition from just doing art to doing art and finding a way to present my art to people. It's It's been like juggling, I suppose. And for me, it's been really difficult. But anyway, next year, 2024, that's what I'm going to work on, how to combine my creative process, which normally works very well, with putting my work out there in a way that's fairly interesting to people. And uh, and it's tough, you know, because you end up, you might be really good at art, but when it comes to putting yourself out there, well, in my case, uh, I'm, I sometimes struggle at doing that well, but that's what I've got to learn. And I'm just going to have to accept that I'm going to make some big mistakes and look like a clown some of the time. Hopefully not all of the time. 
and hopefully I'm eventually going to master how to do that. Anyway, getting back to the point. So I'm happy with this, this painting for a number of reasons. I really like the powerful sky. It's a bit overdone, which I like. I like the faded mountain with the hint of red just below the sun. I really like this texture. Just a minute. I'm going to get a stick next time. <laughs> so, um, so I really like the textures. For example, here. I think that looks wonderful. And this texture here, I'm really happy with that. And I'm quite happy with the rays of light here on the road. That was something I really wanted to paint. And I wanted um, to paint dramatic rays of light going across the surface of the road. And I actually wish that I'd made that even more dramatic because for me, that was the most interesting part of the painting, particularly this painting. But I'm still happy with it overall. And I think the the greenery, the foliage is pretty good as well. And I think I've used white paint really well in this in this picture and it's helped to like. Just make make it pop for want of a better word. Yeah, make it pop. So I'm pretty happy with it. I quite like the angle of these cars. That's quite interesting. And maybe in the future, I'd like to exaggerate that a bit more. I think there's potential there. So, yeah, very happy with this one. On to the next. So this one is similar to the previous painting. Um, the sky is a little bit milder. The road is not quite so dramatic. So I think this one, it's nice, but I think the previous painting was just a bit more interesting and a bit more dramatic. And maybe I exaggerated things a bit more in the previous painting and it paid off. But I still think this is a, a very nice painting. And I love the glow that it has. I love the green. I, I really like that green colour. It, it, it's really beautiful. And the contrast with the road. And I like also the highlight in the road surface or the sunlight striking the road surface. It, that's one of the things that I'm really interested in. I get excited about road surfaces and I also love the texture here in the bottom right hand corner. I think that's lovely. That's yeah. And I'm happy that it's not quite natural. So my ideal painting would be a combination of impressionism with touches of abstraction and at the same time realism. I'd like to put all three of them into a painting and I think it's one of those things that will keep me going because it's like a puzzle, a creative puzzle and I know that one day I'm going to achieve that and just the journey there is going to be so fun. And I think this painting, it has definitely realism, but I think here there's a touch of abstraction. This is not really correct or normal. And so it's this painting is one step on that journey to creating a painting that's got realism, abstraction and expressionism. Impressionism. <laughs> I 
I'm getting completely lost. But there you go. So what was it I wanted to do? Realism, impressionism, and then some kind of abstraction. So, yeah. And I think where you've got the light striking the surface of the road, that's where there's a lot of potential, I think, for creating something more impressionistic because the light blurs shapes and it changes the colour, the natural colour of shapes and just basically distorts things. And then from impressionism, we can move into something even stronger, which might be a form of abstraction, if that makes sense, if that makes sense. OK, this is the next painting I'm going to show you. And now I've chosen a very late evening scene and I basically wanted a sort of hazy, dark, slightly gloomy scene and the car headlights glowing or brightly lit up within that gloom, if that makes sense. And as you can see, I need my stick, right? Use a pencil. I wanted here, through this gap here, some of that final evening light coming through. And in some ways, maybe this painting is a little bit of a failure because I don't think it's so well done. But at the same time, for me, it's a success because I think it's it's a very interesting painting. Uh, I, I really enjoy looking at this particular painting and I, I like the idea of this gloomy evening scene with these bright car headlights as you know the cars move into the gloom especially down at the bottom and like this car it's almost like spectral and I like this kind of I'm not sure if this is accurate I really need to um, see what car headlights look like well the kind of pattern of light they make on the road surface at night time so I basically just guessed that it would look like that so at some point <laughs> I need to find out what they look like and I like this touch of green I think that's a bit unnatural but that's where like I said before I don't want to just paint a realistic picture I don't I don't really see the point in that. For me, for some people, it's fine. And that's fine. I have no problem with that. But for me, it's just playing around with things and creating a beautiful image, if possible. And, and so, and I love these lines. So I, I sort of created that. I'm not exactly copying the real landscape there. So I'm, I'm doing things that make it a more interesting image. So, and I do think this painting ended up being very, very interesting. Yeah. So I think that's about all with this one. So here's another attempt at a late evening scene and uh, I like this one, but I think the previous one was better. It was just more interesting, the lighting effect. Um, but saying that, I'm still happy with this. I think it's interesting. I like some of the textures. Yeah. And I like the touch of green. I think that works very well. And looking at it, it makes me think that as, a, as an abstract image, this could be like a, a sort of greyish kind of painting, but with a kind of play of three colours, basically, a greeny colour, a light green colour, 
white and red. And I think the more I can see this image in an abstract way, then possibly there are things I can do to this painting, alterations I can make that are going to make it even more interesting. So, yeah. One of the difficult things about art is, is that you, you kind of know things, but you don't, you don't follow up on that knowing, if that makes sense. It's very difficult to explain, like you can see things and you can see that they work well, like certain techniques or something, but but I should just talk for myself, right? But then you just kind of think, yeah, that's true. And then you don't do anything about it. And I don't know why that is. May, could it be fear? Could it be you're just not sure how to go about doing that? And I do think you get into that rut of being safe. And because you know, oh, if I do this, then it's going to be OK. You know, it's like nine to five painting style. If I turn up and clock him and do this and then I finish at this time, then it will be an OK painting. But but the the thing is, is to know or be able to hear your own voice or that voice that says to you but that might be an okay painting but okay paintings don't really mean much to be honest and it's interesting paintings even if they fail that are the kind of paintings you want to do so that was a bit of a ramble so apologies about that but I think it's an important point to, I mean, what is that voice? I don't want to give a label to it because I think you already go wrong by giving it a persona. I have no idea. I just know that sometimes something says, whatever it is, oh, that looks interesting. Oh, that works. And then I realise, and it's almost slightly unconscious I'm not doing anything about that I'm not even trying to go there and it's it's really annoying you know it's really really annoying how you don't follow that that messenger that voice that tells you oh this could be good oh that could be good I do that a little bit but not enough so I don't know why this became a confession, but I think these videos are one of the aims of doing these videos is to help me talk back to myself because and hopefully I will watch these videos. So I really need to make them a lot shorter. So. So sometimes when it's just you by yourself, even though you can you can like sometimes, how can I put this? You you know, you learn things, you realise, you have realisations, but then you don't act upon them. Realisations, that's the word. And so I'm hoping that these videos are going to help me act upon the realisations I have. And I think there's a lot more that can be done with this particular scene. I think what I like about this scene is there's that slight touch of the epic. I love epic, you know. I think we we don't live in a period of like epic things. I think we live in a period of trivia, trivial, trivialness, you know, and like epic is almost like one of those i wouldn't say it's taboo but it's it's not you know we're not in that cycle 
I think we're in the cycle of produce things quickly, get it out there, uh, trivial things, anything, anything that gets a like or whatever. But what we're not so much interested in is idealism, is the epic. And I'm not here to say, oh, those things are just plus and the other things are just negative. It's a lot more grey. You know, like epic can also have a negative side to it, right? But, but anyway, uh, I could ramble on and I'm not going to. But what I do like about this painting is I think there's a slight touch of something epic. I think it's partly things like this, these steep kind of angles and this sense of like size. You know, there's there's like big, big mountains and tall trees and it doesn't quite become like have a, have a touch of grandeur but that's what I'm aiming for anyway I rambled on too much so on to the next painting and the final one so here is the final painting and it's the biggest one and I framed it so I, I think some of the other paintings are better than this one, but I'm still overall happy with it. Yeah, and I, I got this wrong. This, this, I don't, I can't quite explain how it should be. It's, it's too tall and there should be some trees behind it, but it looks a bit weird, but I actually think it works and it's quite dramatic and uh, it helps make this painting a good painting, I think now. And I, I like this road and the way it just sweeps through the painting. I really like that. And although these lines, especially here, are too thick, those lines really help. Um, make it a good painting yeah i think you've got yeah there's just an interesting combination of like like geometry and the absence of geometry like a mess so what i mean by that is you've got lines here and you've got lines in the fields they didn't have lines like that i i did that because it it looks good it really makes the painting interesting but then you end up in this area here where all the lines and then you've got the lines of light but it all ends up disappearing all the geometry all the lines and edges disappear into this splatter I mean this almost looks like some kind of nebula something in space and I love that and and actually i'm glad i made this video because some of these things i kind of know but it's almost unconscious and so when i look at the paintings like this and talk about them i actually learn something so anyway there you go i hope you enjoyed that and i'll try not to ramble too much in the next one Bye for now.